Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Does this look familiar? Hmm? <laughs> okay, so this looks very, very familiar, doesn't it? This unit right here, which I'm going to be doing a review on, this one is called the Model Model Lace Front Peruvian Natural Deep Invisible L Part Wig. It's the Alpine Meadow. I'll show you, go ahead and show you the um, stock card. This is Alpine Meadow and it is in the color OM17. Okay. Um, this one looks so, so, so close. And I've actually had this unit. Um, let me see. I've had this unit for probably about like four months, five months, and I just never wore it. Because and, and the reason why is because I had the Danity, which is the one that this looks exactly, exactly like. It looks exactly like Free Trust Danity. So if you can't find the Free Trust Danity in the color that you want, the Free Trust Equal Danity unit, purchase this one. It is almost exactly identical in style. Exactly identical. Um, this one that I'm wearing right here, this color, again, like I said, is the OM17. Now, what I will say with the model model colors, don't always think that just because you're getting an OM17 that it's going to have a dark root. This is one of the rare few units that they actually have in this color, the OM17, that has the dark root up here at the top. Not all of their OM17s have that. So keep that in mind if you're going for a blonde color because I have seen some units by this company that are, is in this color OM17 and not all of their units have the dark root in this blonde color right here. And this color kind of looks like a, a butterscotch blonde sort of like a, with mixed with the 613. I really love this color. Anyway, this one is like exactly it's like the cousin of Danity. I will say that the layers in this are just a tad bit it's a little bit shorter as far as like with the layers is concerned and I do love it. I love the fact of how it's actually layered, but it's very very similar. So, just to talk a little bit about the specs on this wig, um it's a standard cap it does not have any combs on the side, so I used two bobby pins to secure it. It has like, you know, this L part thing. So if you want to, um, you know, cut it, it does have two combs up here at the top if you want to bring out your hair. There's two combs right up here. There's one in the back. It has the adjustable straps. Um, now, my unit, I was like examining my unit. I haven't actually worn this unit out. Again, like I said, this is like my first time actually like trying it on. But I did cut a few layers in it um, just to kind of frame my face. And for those of you that are probably going to ask me, yes, I teased the hell out of this unit. I teased the hell out of it. I got my little 80s prom hair going on here. Hello. <laughs> Can anybody say, um, let's see, what's the name of the uh, movie uh, from the 80s? Like, um, I can't think of the name anything of these some of these movies from the 80s I had that really big big giant hair but whatever that's besides the point I can't remember I never can remember anything anyway for those of you who are gonna ask me what did I use I used a regular standard brush and I use this fruity style by Garnier this is the volumizing hairspray I use this one this is an extra strong hold I love this hairspray it has a nice smell and it works it really does hold the hair in place so that's what I use and I just like took a brush and I just like brushed it you know back combed it well back brushed it or you can use a comb if you want to just you know do it like this and that's what I use and I used hairspray I sprayed the unit first before I started actually back brushing it or back combing it if you will so that's how I styled it and I got it in this big hair. I love big hair and I kind of wanted to make it a little bit different because a lot of people make it wear it really flowy and smooth and I just want my wild and big hair, big prom hair, okay? <laughs> so, but anyway, getting back to this unit. Now, this one right here, for some reason, um, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I could try to show it to you. I don't know if I can pull it up. There's like a there's a piece of track that is here in the unit 
I was trying to see if I could find it, but I can't find it. Anyway, there's a few spots like um, towards the top of this unit that I noticed it is not sewn all the way down. So like the top has like these loose pieces which stick up and you can see it. It's very, very visible. So that I'm going to either have to sew it back down or I'm just gonna have to cut the track. It's just the very end of the track. I noticed that it was kind of made a little shoddy. Like, I never had that problem with the uh, Equal Free Trust unit. But this one, I noticed that it has like a few pieces on the very end where it's not actually sewn down correctly. So it's like the pieces lifting up on the very end if you, you know, get my drift, you can understand what I'm saying. So I kind of just like, okay, maybe they made my unit on a Friday and everybody was just ready to get the hell out of work. I don't know. But this one just, it seems like I kind of got a little bit of a shoddy unit, but it's, it's nothing major. I really like this unit a lot besides that point. I like it a lot because I like the layers that's in it. The layers in it are really, really pretty. I love the fact that I can do my, you know, big hair with this style. I didn't really have to do much to it. It's, this is a gorgeous unit and it's not very long it looks like it might be about maybe 20 to 20 to 22 inches so let me show you the side of the unit and let me show you the back go over here to the back hopefully you can see and the other side This is really cute. I think this is going to be a really cute summer hair. But then again, it's like, it looks exactly like the hair I was wearing last summer. But when I want to have my blonde moments, I'll definitely go with this unit. I really like it. It's beautiful. I would highly recommend it. And again, like I said, guys, if you cannot find the Danity unit, go to this one. This one is also really beautiful. It's the same thing. It's like almost exactly the same thing. It's like the cousin, like I said, of this unit. So I give this one two thumbs up. I think it's it's great. I think it's exactly like the other one. I have not worn this one out, so I can't tell you. I know it's probably going to be exactly the same. This is a synthetic unit, so, you know, it's going to be exactly the same. It does have um, the fiber where you can um, put heat on it up to 400 degrees. So, you know, it's the same thing. And it's supposed to mimic, like, uh, what is this, Peruvian hair. I don't know. I wouldn't say it mimic, mimics real hair exactly, but you know, I think it's not bad. It's not even shiny either. It's like, I love it. I think it's awesome. What do you guys think? So, um, I will be leaving a link below. I think I purchased this one, um, from Hair Stop and Shop. That's where I got this one from, I believe. Because like I said, I bought this last year. I bought it a while ago. So yeah, I got it from Hair Stop and Shop. But you know, I'll leave a link below for maybe like a site or two you can get it from. Or just do a Google search. Put in the wig name, do a Google search, and you should be able to pull it up. It's relatively inexpensive. I believe it was probably, it couldn't have been no more than 35 bucks. I don't, I don't believe it was any more than that. Um, but anyway, I'll be leaving links below for some sites that you can get her from. And um, also, I will be leaving some links below for some of my favorite charities. Make sure you check that out or you can always donate to a charity of your choice. Remember, giving is always a good thing that we should be doing, guys. Please thumbs up and share this video if you like it. And do not forget to subscribe to more videos like this. I love you guys so, so much. And welcome to all of my new subscribers. And I will see you in the next video. Infinite love and gratitude.